how to track inventory with Square for small businesses in 2021. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be telling you everything that is you need to know about Square when starting your own business. Any more of your time, let's just jump right into it. So first things first, what I want you guys to do is come over to squareup.com. Now this is their official website. So once you're over here, all you have to do is simply sign up. So to sign up on their website, you can either click on get started button over here at the bottom, or you can click on the sign in button at the top right corner. So simply click on get started. So when you click on get started, this is how the website will look like and over here all you have to do is do the basics meaning you have to enter in your email address you have to confirm your email address then enter in a password select your country prove that you're not a robot then simply check this box and then just simply click on continue and you will have an account on square so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this after you've completed the sign in process they will ask you a few different questions. Just go ahead and fill out this form and then simply click on continue. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out some of the details and so you get the general idea and then we can move on. So what type of business is it? Let's just say my business falls into food and drink industry and uh, for the business category, my business falls into the category of bakery and then we can select yes we accept credit cards and my business name is hash cafe. So that is basically how you do it next all you have to do is just simply enter in these details and click on continue so i'm going to catch you guys in the next step so once you're done with that process you can simply download the application on either on your apple device or on your google device so or you can just simply click on the login button and then we can proceed with the main part of this video so once you've logged in this is how your dashboard will look like so we have a lot of things going on over here so let me just go over them one by one so over here as you can see welcome to square speed our setup guide will walk you through on how you can get set up on square so let's just set up the guide and over here as you can see we have to activate our account and take payments so to verify your identity all you have to do is enter in your legal name your home address so that they can verify you and this will allow you to accept payments at your point of sale so you can verify as of right now or skip for later so and you can also link your bank account and take your first payment and then your will be set up and down below we can set up your account you can set customize your receipts you can set up your taxes add a location explore other softwares as well and then you finally you have get started with square point of sales over here you will have to order hardware and download the app as well because this is a brand new account so what do we need first when starting a business we need a platform so now that we have a platform now what we need we need items that we can sell so you, all you have to do is click on add an item over here or you can come over here on the left side and over here click on items now once we're over here we need to set up a category first so let's go in the categories and make a category so click on create a category and over here let's just say that our category is bakery so save and continue so now we have a category now we can create an item and then we can assign that item into the category so let's just go ahead and click on item library at the top left and as you can see our library is empty so over here we have some suggestions that we can add we can add water we can add earrings we can have tin we can add thin mint or we can just create an item or import items that you have already created and you have a specific file or a cvs in your computer or laptop or a, your mobile device whichever one you're using to set up your square up account so let's just go ahead and click on create an item so let's just say that our item is a black forest cake and the category it falls into the bakery category and all you have to do is enter in a small description about the details and the features about this product and its measurements as well so I wrote this is a cake and the next thing that you want to do is add in a picture about this cake so click on edit and over here click on add an image now over here select the image that you have so I have this image over here now this image looks pretty nice I mean who wouldn't want a slice of that cake everyone would want a slice of that cake so when you've uploaded your image simply click on done so now over here we have to give it a few variations so over here we have options now we can add different options and down below we have variation and over here we can like change its price its weight its unit and the in stock and stuff like that so let's just click on per unit let's just say it the unit is pounds 
So the unit is pounds and over here the precision is one. Create one, so one pound. So the price per pound, let's just say that it is going over for 200 rupees per pound. And then in the stocks, now let's just add in stocks. So over here, stocks received. And over here, let's just say we have 50 available in stocks and click on done and now we have 10 low stocks alerts so we have 50 items available in the stocks and that is basically it so that is how you create an item so once you've added in all the other details just simply click on save and your item will have been saved and now this is our item so the next thing that we want to do is create a customer because once we have our foundation once we have our business then we have to make in some items now we have an item now we want customers so to create a customer simply click on these three bars at the top left corner and over here click on customers wait for it to load now once you're over here as you can see we have no customers available so we have to click on create a new customer or you can just simply import a existing list of customers that you already have saved on your computer or on your smartphone or laptop or whichever device that you are using but for now since I don't have any list of customers I'm just simply going to click on create a new customers now to create a new customer you simply have to enter in all these different details you don't have to enter it fill out the entire form just the basic stuff such as the customer's first and last name his email address or a phone number and that is it you don't even have to add in the reference id the company or the address or stuff like that just simply enter in the name first and last name his phone number or and email address so go ahead and do that and i will catch you guys in a little bit so once you've entered in all these details simply click on save and you will have your customer and we have a couple of more options over here on the left side such as reports this is basically a report section where it will tell you all the transactions and all the other sales and modifiers or discounts and item sales and all the other things that you need to know about your business it will be automatically added over here and then you have your transactions is basically over here you will see all the transactions that are made for your business and that is basically it that is all the things that you needed to know about square and how you can set up your own business on squareup.com so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification guys because that really helps out the channel and if you have any other questions that are related to this website or this video or any other question in general please let me know in the comment sections down below and i will be sure to get back to them as soon as possible so now we have a business now we have a customer and we are ready to go and that is it guys that is all you need to know about this website so guys having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care goodbye